morning cyclists this is Rick today is Thursday January 11 2024 this is the first road bike ride of, of the new year and from the weather forecast it looks like it's gonna be several days after today before I get to ride again Sunday, Monday, Tuesday look like they're going to be chilly. I'm riding my Cervella Caledonia bike. Usually I give a shot of the of the bike, but I wasn't thinking ahead to check the battery charge on my GoPro camera. And it was 9%. So I started charging it while I was getting ready. But it only got up to about 42%. So I'm using my new external battery, battery pack, until it's charged up. Maybe by the end of the ride, it'll be charged weather today 71 degrees humidity is 80 percent dew point 64.2 degrees i believe it was mostly cloudy winds out of the south at 10 miles an hour with gusts at 22 miles an hour today's route gonna go south through atascacita walden east over lake houston to fair lake lane Old Atascocita Road, FM 2100 North, Kaufman, and then FM 1960 West, back over Lake Houston. And then through Atascocita Shores, back to Kingwood. My goal for this month, it's not very high, mostly because it's usually weather's not too conducive. My goal for the month is 334 miles. Hopefully today's ride is at least 34 miles. That'll get me around th leaving 300 miles if my math is decent. I can, with the external battery pack, it looks like I can take longer videos, but uh, I'm not going to. Right now I'm at, uh, I don't know if I said what time I started. It was 20, I think it was 25 minutes after 11. Right now it's uh, 6 tenths of a mile, 11.29 a.m. Riding in Sherwood Trails, just turned right onto Tynechester, 2.1 miles, times 37 minutes after 11. I'm feeling some of that wind. I'm riding west. After I cross over Bassingham, about 50 feet or so, I'll start a Strava segment. This is Bassingham, that's a stop sign. I forgot to turn on the map on my first clip. After not riding outside for almost, well, almost a month, I guess, I gotta remember all the things I got, all the buttons I got to push to record stuff. It's coming back. Slowly. So I ride west on Tynechester.
stop sign is Forest Bluff. I continue straight. Be careful of crossing traffic. Nobody's coming. I'm still in the Strava segment. When I make the corner, the uh, segment will end as I turn on to, let's see, what is it, uh, Hermitage Hollow Lane. Two point seven miles, forty six. Got another Strava segment coming up, but actually it's 2.8 miles now, but I'm not going that direction. Just turned right onto Aspen Glade Drive. <coughs> I'm in North Woodland Hills Village. I'll ride through North Woodland Hills Village on my way to Bear Branch Village. 3.6 miles and the time is 45 minutes after 11. This is going to be Lake Creek Drive where I turn left. Probably could have worn a lighter long sleeve jersey, but inside my house it was chilly. Outside, when the sun's not uh, breaking through the clouds, I'm going to turn right onto Hidden Pines. When I'm not in the sun, it's just right, but in the sun like this, a little warm. That's okay. I can sweat it out. I'm gonna turn right on the first springs drive. I go on these side streets like this. I want to, like I said, I wanted to be sure at least ride 34 miles, and this helps to get there. Four point zero miles, and it's forty seven minutes after eleven. I'm riding west. This next right, or I'm sorry, next left curve will put me on Oak Shores Drive. Still in North Woodland Hills Village. 4.1 miles, or nope, 4.2 miles times 47 minutes after 11. Moved over to uh, Bear Branch Village, riding on the side street. I'm not sure what the name of it is. 5.4 miles and 53 minutes after 11. We'll catch the street name up here at the intersection with Tree Lane. like this street that I'm gonna that I'm riding on is 
Fan, Fawn Creek Drive. Turning on right onto Tree Lane. Gonna turn right on Village Oaks Drive. Again, I ride these side streets so that I can add a little mileage, hopefully get to the 34 miles at least for today. Turning left here onto Oak Gardens. This will take me back to Tree Lane where I'll turn right. Uh, sweet gum balls on the ground. I've always wondered I guess if you hit one, they got spikes on them. If you hit one just right, you could get a flat tire. Stop sign is Tree Lane. Turning right. On to Tree Lane. 6.0 miles, 56 minutes after 11. Riding on Kings View Drive in Kingwood Greens, 10.1 miles, 16 minutes after 12. <coughs> While I was not riding outside, I lost several local legends, this being one of them. I have to get busy. I'll transition over to uh, Kingwood Greens Drive up ahead and then reconnect with uh, Westlake Houston Parkway. Riding pretty much into the wind right now. Trees are breaking it up a little bit. This corner will put me on the Kingwood Greens Drive. Ten point five miles, seventeen minutes after twelve. Go through a little S turn and then not too far to uh, Westlake Houston Parkway.
Comcast continuing to uh, install their cable TV conduit. I guess they're hoping that a number of people will sign up for it. I don't believe I'll be one of them. I'm pretty very satisfied with my Takus fiber one gigabit. Alright, almost to Westlake Houston Parkway. 11.0 miles. Turning right on Lake Trail or Lake Park Trail, I think it is. I'm in Kings River. 12.5 miles, 26 minutes after 12. On the south side of San Jacinto River, east of Westlake Houston Parkway. Do a few turns and I'll end up on Upper Lake Drive at the stop sign. Riding east. Twelve point seven miles, twenty seven minutes after twelve. Stop sign up ahead will be Water Point Trail. I'll turn right. I'm making my way to FM nineteen sixty. Cross over that, then ride into uh, Walden. Water Point Trail. Stop sign up ahead will be Crimson Oak Trail. I'm going to continue straight on to uh, Kings Parkway. 13.0 miles, 29 minutes after 12. I've crossed over FM 1960. I'm riding on in Walden, up ahead, that's uh, 15.2 miles in time is 39 minutes after 12. I'm going to turn left on a cross country drive from Winter's Drive. <coughs> oh, another cyclist. Hi, Pete. All right. <clears throat> Didn't expect to see a cyclist. Another cyclist. That was Pete. See him frequently. Wind is a little problem some. I'm riding east right now, so it's not so bad. It's a crossed wind. Continuing straight, as you will see.
loop through Walden, then back out of Walden across Farmingham into a section. I'm going to call it a Tascacita. It probably has a, a, a more distinct name than that. And then back to FM 1960 to get lined up to right across Lake Houston to the east. some strong wind I'm riding to the southeast apparently into the wind as the street bends around I'll move away from a headwind I think I'm riding on Vantage View Lane now. Sixteen point zero miles, forty two minutes after twelve. Riding east over Lake Houston, eighteen point three miles, time is two minutes after one. The wind is from my right side. I stopped at the uh, Chevron station in the Tascacita Shores in FM 1960. Checked on the battery status on the GoPro and it was 91%, so I disconnected the uh, external battery. So I can move it around the GoPro. isn't too bad as long as I'm going west to east. When I get to Fair Lake, Fair Lake Lane, I'll be into the wind. I was wondering if the uh, wind was going to be chilly as I cross Lake Houston. It is cooler. But, but I think I dressed warm enough with this long sleeve jersey and short sleeve jersey over top to compensate. It, it would be warmer if the sun wasn't behind a cloud. Nineteen point zero miles, five minutes after one. Riding south on Fair Lake Lane, twenty point zero miles, nine minutes after one. When I turned off of 
1960 the road was had patches of dampness you can see some of them there now I don't know that it's rained I think it was more just high humidity and fog from earlier in the morning oh I took down all the fences from the dredging company I guess they're finished here They are going to be dredging more, but I think it's going to be north of FM 1960 in Lake Houston. Continuing on Fair Lake Lane. On my way to Atascocita Shores, not Atascocita Shores, oh, to Atascocita Road. much change in the construction site that I can see it looks like they've probably been working on utilities no no buildings yet Wind is hard to pedal into. Headwind. The legs are not used to it. Plus, I've only, this is only the fourth. Fourth time of being on a bike, three of them were in Zwift. Well, one Rovi and two Zwift. After being off the bike from, for uh, almost three weeks. Turn left onto uh, Old Atascocita Road, the stop sign. Like we got road work ahead. It says must be resurfacing or old Atascocita Road on the other side of the railroad tracks. 21.0 miles, 13 minutes after one. One up over the railroad tracks. We'll see what's going on here. Looks like, yeah, they're definitely resurfacing old Atascocita Road, which needed it. As you can see here on the left, we got slippage. On the right, they covered up some slippage. They're going slow through here. I 
ไปก็ถึงที่นี้ this part yet Headed north on FM 2100, 22.6 miles, and it's 22 minutes after one. On my way to FM 1960 in Huffman. Got a nice tailwind. Moving me right along, 19, 20 miles an hour. Them tiny trucks over to the right. Got a fleet of dump trucks. Then I got some other things, motorcycles, ATV, a little bit of everything. On the other side of the railroad tracks is, is FM 1960 and Huffman. Twenty-three point one miles, twenty-four minutes after one. Riding on a Tascosita Shores Drive, north of FM 1960. 27.3 miles, 41 minutes after one. Riding east, or not east, west over Lake Houston. Wind was challenging from my uh, left side to left front. Now, I'm riding west, maybe slightly northwest in the wind, between changing direction, houses and trees, wind is not as strong as it was coming across the lake. I'll stay on the Tascosita Shores till it turns into Kings River Drive and then on to Westlake Houston Parkway. Looks like I should 
exceed my 34 miles that I wanted to do. Maybe by about a mile. That's okay, we'll take every mile. Reaching my goal in January is going to be interesting with the weather. Changing cold and maybe even wet. Twenty seven point eight miles, forty four minutes after one. Now the wind. By turning, I'm headed west. The wind is from my left side, pretty strong. My legs are holding up so far. 28.0 miles. This is sunny shores. That's a stop sign. Continuing on to Kings River Drive. 28.1 miles, 45 minutes after one. Riding on the green belt beside West Lake Houston Parkway, 31.8 miles, two o'clock right on the belt. Little bit of a tailwind. It's like uh, more Comcast. Two point zero miles, one minute after two. I'm back in Kingwood. 34.0 miles, 12 minutes after two. Riding uh, north on Deerbrook Drive. A little over a mile to the end of the ride. One difference between Virtual riding and road riding is the vibration sitting in the saddle. Don't get that riding Zwift or Roby or whatever on a smart trainer. My sit bones got soft while I was off, not riding on the road. I'm going to turn left on Park Garden Drive. I'm in Hunter's Ridge Village. Sure, why the streets wet? Somebody must have sprung a leak. Approaching Brook Dra Brookdale Drive. That's a stop sign.
going to turn right. 34.6 miles. 15 minutes after 2.